Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shofa. If you're new here, thank you for coming. Karibu chai. Today we're going to talk about my 2020, how it was, um, the good, the bad, sweat, tears, and laughter. Yeah, because we don't have blood. No blood was spilled. So it's, it's tears, sweat, and laughter. We're going to have my 2020 recap and the happily ever after. Yeah, yeah. Most of you know, and some of you say that it, it took them by surprise. But I have, I'm going to check my Insta stories because I did in January, immediately after my wedding, I did, um, 2020 recap so let's get to it so actually 2020 began without uh, COVID and it was very I don't know I think I'm one of the people who said 2020 is my year are you one of those <laughs> actually what did you say in 2021 did you say that 2021 is also your year because I think uh, people learned their lessons and others refused to to make the same mistakes they made in 2020 there's a lot of things that we learned and uh, we don't want to repeat so 2020 actually began with uh, a lot of, a lot of focus I I think I made my resolutions very early and I I knew that I was going to do something I told God this year if I don't make it in business, if I don't make it in career wise, I don't make it professionally, let me just make it somewhere. I didn't know it's about wedding or marriage or whatsoever. I just wanted to have done something for myself, come out with a name, come out with a different thing. I mean, all the years have been the same, no changes, there's growth here and there, but like no major changes, you know. So, Happy New Year! Happy New Year! I know it's late, it's uh, March currently, while I'm recording this video, it's March 2021. And today we're going to talk about uh, the good, the bad, the sweat, the tears, the, the no blood. <laughs> sweat, tears, laughter, and happily ever after. I know most of you know, especially those who have been following me, on Instagram and maybe Facebook and also here on YouTube the ones who are subscribed if you are not yet subscribed kindly I'm giving you a second just go down below and subscribe to this channel because I think I'm gonna go I'm gonna get consistent from now onwards thank you promise <laughs> so yeah thank you so much for subscribing and thank you so much for coming in today and I promise you you're gonna like it here. You're gonna like it. Caribou chai. So I'm gonna do my 2020 recap and uh, how it all went down, how my year was because COVID has affected most of us. All of us want someone to talk to. All of us want to hear something good. We've been hearing bad news every time. So we want to hear something nice and something i have something nice yeah and even if you don't want to hear something nice when you hear something bad that has happened to someone you realize you're not the only one if it if it has happened to you then of course there's someone else out there who also is facing the same thing so god hasn't forgotten you god is just testing all of us so let's keep praying and we Hopeful. So my 2020 began according to Instagram because I did a, a story on Instagram about how my 2020 was based on the post I kept on Instagram. So in January, I started in a very like holidayish mood. I had a very good year. I started like a vacation thing because I was working throughout 2019 till December and I made sure I saved quite a little bit of some money for vacation. So I went on a um, well, I, there's a photo I posted here. This day, <laughs> okay, this photo is of January 12th. I went, uh, I went to to the water sport for kayaking with Explore Photo Trip, 
and this specific day is the day I intended to meet my husband my current husband is the day I had intended to be the first day I am meeting him for the second for for like the first time after a very long time yeah you want to hear the story about my husband <laughs> it will come it will come to this channel later maybe in another video let's pause for Azan. اللهم رب هذه الدعوة التامة والصلاة القائمة آت محمد الوسيلة والفضيلة بعد اللهم حمد وبعد so yeah uh, as we go on because I want to wrap this up before Sola so in January I went on kayaking and I had texted this guy because I wanted to meet him it's the day that I had intended to meet him for a first time after a very long time the last time I had met him was 2017 so I texted him I asked him to come he said he'd come and then on that day in the morning I asked him again he said um, yes because I asked him yeah like we have a date He's like yes we have a date so we were supposed to go at 2 p.m. at 2 p.m. where is the guy where is my guy nowhere to be found I tried calling him he picked up I tried asking him where are you he was like I'm at work what's up I'm like yo shit you didn't know we were supposed to go somewhere anyway I didn't catch because like there were no strings attached no closed business deal or whatever so I told myself I'm not going to catch feelings because I'm the one in need okay in February I got uh, actually my friend Nadia if all of you know her she got um, appointed by the government for a, a cabinet administrative secretary for the ministry of youth and gender affairs and since she's a person i knew personally i got motivated and in inspired to start my year well to write down my goals well to think upon what i am going to do in the future what i want to do you know get motivated to do more so that you can be where you want to be or where your friends want to be because as we were talking even the day she got sworn in we had a, par a little party at Swahili port and she said out of these all young women I see Shufa you you inspire me I've seen you grow since 2016 and you in 2016 so she's like I've seen you grow since 2016 and what I can say you are the next me I really really got empowered I feel like the whole world is in my hands I felt like okay I can do what I want to do now I can focus on my career I can focus on making money I can focus on investment leave men alone leave other things alone just pray uh, take care of your health take care of your mental health take care of your, your nutrition mind your own business get money make money invest uh-huh so that's February that's still in January in January again after the after like after I got motivated I started my own book club I started my own book club called Tito's book club and uh, I planned to meet readers every Saturday of the month every last Saturday of the month we discussed books we we didn't uh, immediately start start with uh, like book of the month reading and all that we just um started we read everybody reads their own book then we come discuss we, we choose a topic to discuss are we going to discuss characters this time are, are we going to discuss uh, styles are we going to discuss reading habits and all that and it was a very beautiful move that i made because i am one of the very few people if not the only one who um started a book club in mombasa because you know people believe that in mombasa there are many readers but if you start something you will see people coming through and i was very inspired by that in february i got featured in a national business paper 
my story as a digital content creator as I travel around Mombasa because at some point I got interested to know more about culture, history and these things so I decided I'd be traveling every once in a while actually I made a promise to myself that I'd be traveling every month so I don't know how they stumbled upon my photo and they reached out to me and asked for my story to put it out there and inspire other young people who want to do the same still in february i edited a book that got published abroad so my friend ruth kaveke i wrote a book about her story and it was published in germany so in february she launched the book and i was very honored to be one of the editors and this reminded me that in 2016 my friend nadia some nadia is a um, cast published a book outside the country called The Feminist in Us and I was featured and I was very honored uh, to be one of the young um, female youth from the coast to be featured in a, in a book that has people from all over the world giving my opinion about feminism. The book is called The Feminist in Us. It's one of my favorite books to date because I was featured. Still in February, I spoke on a youth forum about how to grow your hustle. So out of still the 1.8 million youth around the, the, the country, I got chosen by an organization by the youth called the Vijana Network that had a forum. They were launching a forum about um, Ajira, career, how to grow your hustle, how to monetize your, your talent, how to monetize your content, how to make money out of what you can do on your own. So they chose me as one of the people in the panel to come and talk to fellow youth on how you can do that. To inspire them and motivate them this inspired me as well and also motivated me gave me a lot of networks made me meet a lot of new valuable people everybody was valuable there but i i got to be a, a, an inspiration to many young people who to date look up to me still in february in the end of february i grew some balls and started accepting rejections let me read you this caption because you Okay, the caption says, here, here is the, the, the post. You can check it out from my, my account. Remember when 2020 started, and like 2019, I said this was my year and thought it started off well with a raise at work and personal business, which was still an idea then. I was too ambitious, too excited and gave myself the support I needed. One month later, I received an email from a very big company wanting to work with me on a contract of three times my monthly income i thought 2020 is my year no sooner had i responded to them then then i realized i shouldn't have counted my chicks before they hatch these people didn't get back to me and when i did when i reached out to them they told me they got someone else from nairobi <laughs> by the way what when nairobi is no buyer what i'm trying to say here is I am putting this up for people who think everyone posting a happy photo is always happy. Everything getting engagement and exposure has made it. We also go through rejection and disappointment because I started realizing that I inspire a lot of people and many people follow me for what I post. Many people really come to my account for motivation. So of course you wouldn't want so if, if you're posting happy photos every day one day this person uh, gets sad they will start comparing themselves to you and start feeling why don't so and so get sad because she has never posted such a thing she has never been disappointed she has never been you know those things so in as much as we want to show people happy things i am putting it out here it's not like i'm gonna put up um, all the time when I get sad, but I put this out here just to show people that we do get sad We're humans, right? Yes, even if we're not gonna post it all the time We just don't want to put people down. We want to we're here to spread some love and happiness But in reality, we do get sad. I will read the comments because 
I'm expressing through Salumi says, Girl, 2020 will bring you things and experiences and opportunities you have never ever imagined before. Shufadia, just you just got started, my love. Oh, this is beautiful. So, Miss Bow said, I second that. A bigger doors will open, inshallah. Ah, you guys, this guy has prayed for me since March 2020. Mind you, I was single very single completely single singleton single with plurals of single <laughs> um angela said better things are coming alula mama says happy new month jirani rejections is necessary at times we only get to learn and get stronger for more opportunities to come 2020 is your year period 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 period, period. Jamila said, Kabisa, by the way, will say my birthday yako nilini. By the way, my birthday is on 6th April. If you're sending gifts, I will come to my inbox. I'll give you my address. Or check them to Swahili for hub. They'll get, they'll reach to me. Hijabi Fai says, Yani, thanks for sharing. Oh, Kabisa, we believe in Qadr. Aha, uh -huh. so that's March. And that's like end of February. So I started March in... A more uplifted spirit like okay rejections do happen i am here for the people and i want to show the people that life is not always perfect we are not always perfect we can stumble sometimes and fall you know so it's not like every day a bed of roses you have to show the people who follow you that of course there is a day you'll be down so in april i celebrated are we in april yo hey this birthday thing in shika in March, I sat in a panel discussion of the first Kenya Nimimi forum in Mombasa. So, if you've heard of Kenya Nimimi, go check it out on Instagram. It's an initiative by Cass Nadia, of course. It's a movement of, movement of the youth by the government. Um, it's a platform where it shows the youth every opportunity that the government has because she works in the government and she wants people to get the good things that the government offers. Most of the times, the people, that, the youth in town, they don't really get to this uh, to these things that the government gives. We don't know the channels. We don't know how. We don't know their reach links. Nini. So this platform helps help us get to know more about the benefits that the youth have from the government so this was the first um the first forum which was done in mombasa and i was in in the panel discussion because in the discussion it was all the youth and a forum worth 800 plus people i was sitting in the people representing the media industry that's much in april 2020 i celebrated my birthday with three of my friends who were very close they decided to surprise me even with covid coming around we had our birthday indoors we had a good day we ate a lot of cake we celebrated we took a lot of photos i was very really happy by the way because i've never missed my birthday since 20 i don't know when but also since i got to Swahili, but they've always surprised me so when covid came i was like um is there gonna be anything this this year because you know so report is closed all my friends are everything is locked down all my friends are at home are in their homes so what am i going to do am i going to celebrate alone i don't mind i mean in 2019 i celebrated with family but i was like also even the family is closed down i only i'm, I'm only left with the, the the nuclear family the people i like sleep and wake up with my parents and siblings and i was like what's gonna happen plus i was broke but yo the three friends came through god bless you latifa dalila dj lenium you're good you're good in april i found love well i hadn't realized that it is in april that i shot my shot but i actually did after my birthday when covid hit when everything was locked down i shot my shot to this nigga you know well, I realized later that it was April that that it was April when I found I found love that I, I actually attracted his attention because we we've been talking throughout but I I wasn't sure if I had his attention or not I thought we were just playing but actually when Ramadan came I noticed I, I had captured his attention 
So in May 2020, I started a podcast and I would love to apologize before any of you come come at me with stones. I I I started a podcast I, because I was at home, everybody was at home, we had a lot of things to share. I started recording and posting out topics that you um you know people love to talk about or you love to listen or someone wanted to talk about but they didn't have a platform or I let them do them in my my account so i only managed to post four of them the first one was introduction the second one was like um covid and the third one was men sliding into the dm men's um sliding into the dm third fourth a men's conference thing but i stopped because at some point after the first because the first one was in may so I was recording I think after every two weeks. So the first one was after like three months. I was broke, confused, broken and all that. I couldn't manage the the social media life. I couldn't manage any of my social life. I couldn't manage anything. So I kinda I kinda became unproductive. I have some audios that I recorded which are timely. I'm not sure if I can put them out there. I'll I'll have to check my archives. But I'm getting back to my podcast bigger and better. I'm having collaborations. But it was nice. It was nice. I was still motivated to do things. Still in May 2020, I went on my first date with my husband. This is the day I ca- I managed to get his attention and time. Hello, everybody. So people, when people saw this on Instagram, they thought like we've been dating for years. Wapi. <laughs> uh, yeah, this was our first date. In May again, in June, I grew more interested in cooking. It was manifesting into moving into my matrimonial house. So immediately we went out on our first date. We both of us, uh, both of us stated out our intentions, and both of us, both of our intention was marriage. So at home, I started, um, I started living in the habit of. A married woman what does a married woman do what does a married woman do like responsibilities of the, of the house how does she act you know at home people are raised differently in some homes people have a lot of responsibilities at my home I didn't have much of those I remember some days I would come home from work and just go to bed just uh, greet everyone and go to bed I wouldn't want to mind what's cooked what's not what are people eating it wasn't a problem for me but in your house where you are married or where you stay alone or with someone and you you are part of the house's responsibility you've got to be mindful about the other person are they there are they fine have they eaten and, and, and same to them of course they think about you the same way you cannot just come home from work get a shower and sleep and in this house <laughs> It's only the two of you who manage it. It's a partnership. This is your housemate. You've got to know if they're there or not. So I have reels on Instagram on cooking. I did some few recipes. I did kaimata. I did katasinia in June. So in July, this is where life turned upside down. This is where 2020 was bad for me. I got really broke because we we all lost jobs in March. So between March and July, I had some savings. So I was like um, spending my savings without anything coming in back. So like I spent in March, April, May, June, especially during Eid, Ramadan and all that. So in July, I was really broken, broken. This was my lowest point. I thank God for my husband because this is the time he was there for me emotionally. He did not know I was broke because I couldn't tell him. We We were just dating. We had just dated for like three months. So I, I didn't tell him much about my finances, but he understood that I was really lonely, bored, broken. I wasn't going to work. I was just at home. And then I got sick. At some point, I almost diagnosed myself with COVID. So everything was just like this. But I thank Allah for sending him to me because he was always there for me. Because he also, I think, wanted a, a partner, someone to share life with and life experiences with he stays alone at that point he used to stay alone so like i was the person he would come to every evening from work and give a one hour call and 
tell me how his day was and me the same so i'd be interested to do something at home even if i wasn't going to work because i knew at the end of the day i have someone to tell what i did during the day you know when you're alone and broken and broke and bored you wouldn't have an effort to do something nobody motivates you to even do anything if you have wi-fi food under your roof um other yeah as i was saying if you have everything food under your roof you have people you have internet but you're still broke you don't need anything you don't need airtime you don't need to go out you won't do anything you lay in bed and start telling yourself you're depressed my friend i thank allah i got someone that i could um connect with talk to also my friends from primary school we've we have a group that has been running for for years but during that time we grew close because of zoom and virtual meetings we used to have virtual calls sometimes in the morning sometimes in the evening and talk talk about how our day was talk about you know many things and it really like lifted my spirits up it actually it is the group that uh, that gave me the inspiration to uh, give someone my heart to allow someone into my love chamber you know because it's a friend during one of the the calls a friend was uh, positively flossing to us her boyfriend in the call because you know in, in our group it's girls only so while we were forcing her to get in the to the call she's like I, i'm i've gone shopping with my guy so guys I, I can't join you guys but i'll be like you know i'll be live and i'll be only contributing much i'll just be on the move and we're like wow you guys rock wow you guys look good wow you guys this you guys that so he was so nosy and wanted, wanted to know about uh, what's happening in her life. And she was so happy in her relationship. And I'm like, okay, there's a guy, no. We should do something, you know. <laughs> we did something. <laughs> I actually allowed someone's son into my love chamber. But I was broke. So in 2020, August, I started picking up, started getting jobs, alhamdulillah. So because I was positive. So I also dared to, you know, dared to step out, dared to do something. So I got the online jobs that I've been doing every time, every now and then. So I got the little uh, pocket change and I'm grateful. Alhamdulillah, can't complain. In September, nothing happened. I was just so much in love that I, I didn't actually um, concentrate about world happenings. In October, I got engaged. Alhamdulillah. Somebody's son finally managed to capture my dad's attention. And Baba said yes on my behalf. So in November, I worked with NBCC campaign for COVID-19. It was one of the few online works that I did. And I'm grateful because it gave, it added to my little save. Because you see, I didn't have savings. I'd spent all my money during COVID. So now I, I was actually like down, down, down. So when I started getting money, I have a fiance and I want to plan for wedding. So I needed to save this money. So I still lived the life. In November, I sat in a panel discussion for the youth innovation and media at the CVE festival. So there was a CVE festival at Suhili Port Hub and they were talking about the youth and violence and um, they called me as usual to grace their panel I was one of the panelists too same in the media industry in the media department to talk about how we as content creators are trying to fight CVE online to the youth how are we, are we passing the message um i lowkey want to type god go shower you with blessings this month then leave but highly want to inspire someone who has gone through it last month i said september has been good this month let me say november has been the most difficult month where god tasted me left right and center in the same november i realized how strong i am and that prayers and love works things i'd love to share one dare to get out of your comfort zone two do the thing you've never done before three think of the positive probabilities first do not go with what is the negative what if four leave it to allah 
in November it was so so heavy because I was already engaged but now like all the wedding processes my god my god I wish I could never want to involve um, extended families but you know what we need them sometimes if I was a millionaire I'd, I'd plan my wedding alone and invite everyone they could just come in as guests but you involving them and their money leave it to Allah hey <laughs> so my message to you who has faced it real bad tonight I pray for you and your loved ones I pray that Allah opens your heart into peace and lead you to praying for the right decision may this be your month of happiness and blessings good health love and laughter I mean thank you so finally in December I married the man of my dreams you guys you guys <laughs> this is the man of my dreams I dreamt of uh, marrying him since 2019 in 2019 November my cousin told me that she dreamt of me getting married to someone from these areas and I told her I know someone from those areas let me get back to you so I just texted him hi stranger that's what I used to call him then he goes hey stranger you're so lost how have you been where have you been 12 months later <laughs> Yeah, thank you so much guys for coming back to my channel. If you've been there, if you missed me, if you've been um, bored, I'm here now. I'm back. And I'll be back with my husband very soon. Thank you so much for those who are not yet subscribed and you've watched this video till the end. Come on, aren't you ashamed? Kidogo, you've had tea with me. Some little very sweet, spicy, hot tea. Come on, please please we need to be friends thank you so much you gotta go see you next time bye